body camera shows University of Cincinnati police officer Ray Tensing reaching for the car door. Then this minor traffic stop turned deadly in less than two minutes. You have a license on you? Mm -hmm. 43-year-old Samuel DeBose hands over what looks like a bottle of gin, but no license. Uh, I'm asking you a direct question. Do you have your license on? This 2015 encounter, captured on body camera, shows University of Cincinnati police officer Ray Tensing reaching for the car door. Then, that deadly decision. You can hear the gunshot and see DeBose's car start rolling out of control. Tensing races after until it crashes, the engine still revving. And moments later, he sends this message over police radio. Tensing later claimed in a police report he was being dragged by the vehicle and had to fire his weapon. But protesters say that's not what the video shows. And prosecutors argue Tensing should have never pulled the trigger. This is without question a murder. This is the most asinine act I've ever seen a police officer make. Totally unwarranted. This case sparked days of protest in Cincinnati and serves as one of many incidents involving police body camera video thought to add to police accountability, documenting an encounter that's still open to interpretation. Arizona-based tech company Axon Enterprises is aiming to eliminate some of that ambiguity with the Axon Body 3, a police body camera that can live stream events in real time, and they're starting in Cincinnati. A simple analogy, it's like going from the iPod to the iPhone. Uh, we think it's a total game changer. I mean, imagine if you're a police commander and you're trying to ascertain what's happening at a remote location, especially if things are getting heated uh, or dangerous, you know, you're yelling and screaming and you're trying to interpret what's happening over a radio. If you can see a live video stream from multiple people on site, you're just going to have a completely different and far better understanding of what's happening. We traveled to Ohio ahead of the launch as Cincinnati Police Department officers trained on the new technology. The scenario, a bank robbery. Officers simulating a felony traffic stop and practicing with the new live stream capabilities. Officers activate their lights. That turns on both of their body cameras. Once those are on, they're able to reach out to the real-time crime center to ask them to monitor their live stream so that they're able to see anything they encounter. Real-time crime center, I'm accessing Officer Hasi's camera now. That's going to give them an extra added layer of awareness to the situation. For our supervisors who might be tuning into that situation, they can look potentially at that live stream and see what's going on to gain a perspective in real time as to what's happening. That's never... We've never had that capability before. Right now, you got to listen to what we're saying. Do you understand? And in the case of a real emergency, every second ah. and every piece of information counts. Police Department. It was Amazon. That phrase, we want more information right now. Nah. Axon's senior product manager, Doing China a live McRae, says video, in consulting with police departments across the country, live. organizations wanted more for less, more access to immediate information while lessening the burden on officers to have to remember to activate cameras. That can also happen over our signal technology where an officer draws their weapon. Uh, that can uh, trigger recording as well as things like the light bar or mm. even arcing or deploying a taser. Cincinnati Police Lieutenant Steve Saunders explains this technology would have been crucial back in March of 2017 when Damian McRae ambushed Officer Ken Grubbs and his partner opening fire as they responded to a report of domestic violence. They didn't realize this person was armed. Their body cameras weren't rolling at the moment person presented a firearm and when the officer was shot he fell back down he actually manually 
and had the presence of mind to manually turn his camera on. We're told the older model of body cameras were always buffering, so the cameras generated right. video from 30 seconds before being manually turned on. But Lieutenant Saunders says with the Amazon <laughs> Body 3, not only would the cameras have captured the entire encounter, but the crime I heard center can also fly. do their live stream as added security I heard him do the and to serve run. as extra eyes on the scene. So that technology, that advance in technology is amazing. It's going to make our officers safer, safer for sure. Or it's going to make the community safer as well. The shooter was later sentenced to more than 40 years in prison. But with increased accessibility comes increased concerns. Police officers now faced with supervisors having instant access to their body camera feeds during traffic stops and countless other encounters. There has been some concerns, and, and what this um, will show is that officers are not going to have their, their body cameras viewed arbitrarily. Someone has to have their camera on and activated. And when they do, the creators say that adds value to the community. The community can also feel like there's a, a witness in addition to the officer that is there. It provides a level of uh, and layer of transparency um, for both the officer and the, and the community mm -hmm. member. But as with the case against University of Cincinnati officer Ray Tensing for the murder of Samuel DuBose, video evidence doesn't guarantee that everyone watching sees the same thing. If it were not for that video camera, Sam would be no different than all the other incidents because the second officer was ready to corroborate every lie that the first officer said in the report. We knew the video was gonna vindicate our brother. Ten white and two black jurors deliberating Tensing's fate in 2016 did not see the same thing. We are unable to reach a verdict on either count one or count two. The hung jury failed to reach a verdict on the charges of murder and voluntary manslaughter. And in the 2017 retrial, nine white jurors and three black jurors were also deadlocked, resulting in a second mistrial. Prosecutors ultimately decided to drop the charges against Tensing. While this new technology is designed to increase transparency, what's perceived as justice remains in the hands of a jury. And Janae joins us live now. Janae, such a great report. I know the top priority is keeping officers in the community safe, but there's also the issue of trust. How does Axon see this improving police community relations? Well, they're certainly hoping that it makes it better because now police have uh, the option for extra security, extra eyes on the scene, but also the public has what can feel like a third subjective witness. But the company tells me that their ultimate goal is to make the bullet obsolete, which sounds revolutionary, but they plan to do that by creating technology that empowers these agencies to make more critical choices in the most important moments so that everyone goes home at the end of the day. Oh, it sounds like a great plan. Hopefully they can pull it off. Let's I know see. in Cincinnati they've already started using these cameras. How's that going? Right, so it's been about a month since Cincinnati police rolled out these new cameras. They've got about a thousand police officers on the streets already enabled with the new devices and they just wrapped up training, training with the live streaming capabilities. Um, and Axon is working with about a handful of other cities looking to implement this new technology okay, also. Okay, so we could see this spread. We could see more of it. All right, Janae Norman, thanks so much, Janae. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.